Oh yeah! I may be suffering from malnutrition, dehydration, and possibly sunstroke. But I've got a sledgehammer! Yes! <laughs> uh, why are you looking at me like that? Seriously. Stop it. Yippee! There'll be no wedding bells for today. And we're back. Right, we have everything we need to make the Wonder Adobe and all the tools required. Um, I have to make the Wonder Adobe first, I believe. Oh, Veronica's got some of my components, I believe. Didn't I give you some of the? You're making me stuff? carry the heavy stuff, aren't yes, you? Yes, the Adobe sat eighty. Wait, good God, that's heavy. So it's forty each. Hammer, I gave you a hammer. Did okay. I'm pretty over encumbered. However, there's a workbench around here, and I can make the stuff I need to make. Although it's probably going to weigh too much anyway. I can wear my backpack, or I can get Veronica to carry it once it's finished. Wonder Adobe! Wait, 40. Oh, actually, I think it's lighter than the components ingredients, which is kind of useful. Wonder Adobe had it! Right, we've got it! We've got it! Let's go talk to Dean. I believe it's Dean we've got to talk to now. Talk to Dean, and then we can get that wall sorted out. My god, that was difficult to find. Sledgehammer! Oh, God, I have no idea if it's supposed to be that hard to find, or if I'm just unlucky. Hello? Don't forget if you need some repairs, nobody will fix it as good as me, and I need the money. I can fix it better than you, and I also need the money. Paul said to check with you when I have everything in this list. Are you ready to go? Wonder Adobe. Mm. Got it. I'm just wondering if... This is going to work. Oh, no, 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 no. I need to borrow that tie iron from when we tear out those old windows. And you get to use the sledgehammer. Fun, huh? Okay. Hang on to these nails and we'll use them to nail up all those old slats for the backing for the plaster. If you're ready, head on over and I'll be right behind you. Talk to me again when we get inside. All right. Tire iron removed. Okay, yes, I had a tire iron. So he needed the tire iron. I get some nails. Meet Dean in the school and talk to him about refinishing the walls. Do I get to hit things with the sledgehammer now? Is that, is that basically what I get? Maybe I should get the sledgehammer ready. Do I get to like... No, I don't want to knock holes in the walls. I've spent all this time trying to... Get, are you coming? Dude, seriously? I mean... Faster. Come on. Okay, he's in. Alright, so, Dean. How you survived that slug in your brain, I'll never know. Is that relevant? I'm ready to start. What do we need to do next? Okay, just grab that sledgehammer there by the safe and we'll get started. You need to come and talk to me again once we're finished, but right now, let's get to work. Are you telling me there's a sledgehammer by the safe? Oh, you are absolutely kidding me! The, I thought I had to get a sledgehammer before I came to see... Me was here all the time. Oh, I got one! Oh, <laughs> oh God <clears throat> or, or 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 did I need to find maybe I needed to find this one before this one appeared or something? Please tell me that's that's what it is, because if I've spent all that time looking for a sledgehammer, I'm going to be very depressed. Nails, hammer, wonder hammer, and fourteen wood slats. I'm ready to fix these walls. I didn't need to find the sledgehammer, did I? <sighs> you and Dean make one hell of a team. First you set up some temporary lighting. 
Then together you use the sledgehammer and tire iron to remove the old window frames to get the old studs in the wall. You then use the nails Dean found to nail up the wooden slats to serve as backing for the Wonder Adobe. The Wonder Adobe truly was a wonder as it smoothly filled in the spaces where the windows once were. You even come up with the great idea of using an old broom to brush up the finish for a nice strong seal. The old chalkboards from behind the school worked perfectly to close up and seal the other windows and should make things more weathertight and keep the Mojave outside where it belongs. Don't forget to speak to Dean again so you can continue with the rest of the work on the school. Okay. So, I hit... St Ooh. I heard magic sound. Alright, so all the windows have gone, and... And we have some temporary lighting. We got... We got some boards. Oh, those will be the boards from outside, won't they? Where's Dean? There you are. Dean! My man! You ain't seen my 916 around here, have you? No? No. Damn, where'd I put that thing? Uh, sorry, what can I do for you? Tell me what I gotta do next. Wow, these walls really turned out amazing. Yeah, that wonder Adobe actually worked. Unbelievable. Might have to find some other uses for it later on. Fixing the rest. I should be real happy with these walls um, now. The Mojave this place is sealed up almost as good as new. No critters, no dust. Real nice. That's a fine piece of work, my friend. Here's your tire and back and something you might like. I put these together with some old junk I had laying around. I'm heading back over the house for now. Oh, one other thing. Give Paul this note about the wiring in this place for me, will ya? Wiring. Got it. That's probably the next thing, isn't it? We gotta get some pout tire iron added. Two weapon repair kits added. Okay. You! Paul! Watch out for the damn geckos down by the source. And I've heard Don't there's powder gangers down on drinking. the road below that. Damn menaces. Thanks for the advice. Dean and I got the windows all done. Damn fine job on those windows and walls. And Dean was able to get a look at the wiring too? Outstanding. I was really needing this assessment of the wiring so I can start designing the power system for it. I want it to be totally off the grid. But what, what that'll grid? take a while. Anyway, want to see what's next? Absolutely. Please tell me it doesn't involve wandering around the entire Mojave searching for one ridiculously rare item. Sure, I'm ready to go. What's next? Did you wonder what that old terminal was good for? No. Well, it turns out I found a program on an old holotape I bought. I was picking the program apart, and I believe it came from one of those old vaults around here. Seems it will interface with your pit boy and log what you're carrying in your inventory and sort it all out for you. It's called okay. SIMS, or a Computer Inventory Management System. Oh, right. It, oh, so this adds a kind of inventory sorter, the sort of thing I've got in my van, to the to the, uh, to the school. That's kind of cool. Adds it to the school. But computers won't work without power, right? Of course not. Yes, and we probably won't have the power on for a while, but there's still other things we need for this system to function. Besides that pit boy of yours and the terminal I'm fixing, we still need the storage containers it uses to stow your gear. You're not I already have my a few outside. Boy. You've probably seen them. But there are more we need to complete the system's requirements. Um. Here, I have it all written down for you on this note. Will you see how many of those you can find? Sure. Um, let's have a look. Data. Miscellaneous. Oh. Wiring note to Paul. I've checked everything out. Wiring seems mostly intact, and the electrical panel looks like it will still work. I'll get out the old wire brush and clean up those bus bars before I energize it, for sure, though. I'm still trying to get the old UPS working, but it's definitely got to have a new coil for the inverter. Good news is, with a new one, it should take a charge from a small solar panel, and we'll probably have to replace the batteries. So, do you possibly have an inversion coil, some fresh fishing batteries, and a small solar panel lying around somewhere? Um, I've got fishing batteries, the rest, no. Sims storage requirement. I already have some of the containers we need for the Sims systems, but here's what we're missing. Six mini vault lockers. Check around in the rubble piles for the, from these decaying houses around town and up 
by the old Poseidon station above the general store. Might check the cave too. What cave? But watch out for coyotes. Good Springs Cave is on the left, heading down the main road south out of town. Look out for the coyotes again. Yes, mentioned. Three toolboxes. Amazing, you can usually find them in the beds of old pickup trucks. Okay, two med kits. Um, I know there was one up the old Lone Wolf radio station. Might also check the abandoned campers down below the source to find Lone Wolf radio walk due south from Good Springs source. But keep looking up the hill to the west as you go. You'll find an old abandoned camper up on the hill a few hundred yards south. By southwest from the source. Okay. Alright, so first of all we have to find some lockers. Any, no, anything here? These look like lockers, no? I'm guessing these are not the lockers they were talking about. Alright, so we've got to look in some of the abandoned houses around here. We have to look in the backs of trucks as well. Maybe I should do the other things first. Mm -hmm. Take locker. Alright, that was one. I need six of those. You know what's amazing? I've never really explored. Who's Frankie? Locked hard. I've never really explored Good Springs. You know one of the good things about this quest. Apparently it's not stealing. Kind of feels like it's stealing. Because it's locked. Eh, that's... Not upset the Good Springs people. Oh, well, hey. I don't suppose I can. Nope, don't open that. Okay, going on a limb here, this is the toolbox. Yes. So I now have all three toolboxes. Alright, so we still need to get one locker. And God knows where I'm going to find that at the moment. But until inspiration hits. Perhaps we should go and get the other items. Oh, I thought I added them. Now, the other items were... One by the camper, and that was a med kit, wasn't it? And one by... Oh, the radio station. What did he call it? By the Poseidon. I found one at the, uh, the Poseidon. Above the... Right, check the cave. To, oh, right, now I need to get to the cave. That's right. I need to get to the cave to get the last locker. Brilliant. Um, three toolboxes got. Two med kits. Wolf radio station. As well as the... Gex. Gex. The place with the Gex. Geckos. Gex. Right. Go to the camper. Let's pick up the first of the... Med kits. Perhaps... Ah, perhaps inside. Yes! First aid kit. Excellent. Suitcase, what's in there? Iron. Alright, and now to the Wolf Radio Station. Let's... Where do we find that? They said... Keep going... Basically down here. You'd actually think it was... I was wondering what it was doing. It kind of looked like it was just about to run past me and ignore me. Which would have been fine by me. Alright. Could it be up there? It could be up there. Let's... More geckos. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, this thing does such an awesome amount of damage. Over here? So keep going along the road, but look to the west. Oh. Those... 
look unpleasant. They like raiders or something. And that's a flamethrower. Okay. And you. Don't move. Oh, come on. No, that was a miss. You know what? They're all missing now. That's it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> All right. Was this it? Lone Wolf Radio, there it is. Where was Killed two people. I'd like to know what they were carrying. Jackal Gang Veteran. I'll take. Yes, in fact, Tech Raider Flyer. What is a Tech Raider? We'll find out in a minute. There was a second one that they shot. I shot him far higher. See that? I'm guessing there's no one in there, or they would have come out. Flamer fuel for the van. Not much, though. All right, what are these flyers? Oh, no, it's data. Miscellaneous tech raider flyer. Gangs of the Mojave, it is time to unite. Are you sick of misfiring weapons, shoddy armor, and irradiated food? Come join our great organization and you will receive advanced firearms in full trading, the best armor in the wastes, access to vast pre-war food supplies, the chance to be part of the world's most powerful organization. Your nearest recruitment post is at Lone Wolf Radio. Our representatives will fill you in on how to find us. Seriously? They now have... A recruitment center. <sighs> okay. Um. Tech Raider Scan. Did she blink? Okay. She's purple and blinking. Um, I'm not going to take her armor off. I think she's dead, but she's blinking. What am I here for? What the hell's that? The Wasteland Survival Guide. Scrap electronics. Um, and Tech Raider Flyer. We've already got that. Tech Raider. Boxing times. Don't mind if I do. All right, I'm almost overloaded. And I'm here for that. Okay, we now complete. We've got the two med kits. I have a book, though. What was that book? Is it one of the... The Wasteland Survival Guide. Survival increased by three. Nice. Okay, this is really strange. All right. Anyway, we have got the med kits. Now we need the last locker, and that is to be found in the Coyote Cave, which is somewhere... I can't remember. The coyotes, they were over there. That's where I saw most of them. Oh. What do you think? Fair bet that the coyotes will be somewhere around the place known as the Coyote Cave. Nice. Okay, does that look like a cave? That kind of looks like a cave. Good Springs Cave. Okay, so it's called Good Springs Cave. I'm going to take everything you have. There was another one. I like... The hide. Oh. Okay. 
what we're looking for is a locker, okay? Whoa. Really, you're not seeing the light. And I don't mean that in a sort of religious way. I mean, I'm shining a light at you. I think for coyotes we can stop sneaking. Right, so keep your eye out for a locker. What? Thank you. What does M stand for? Armour piercing is not what I want in it. Those are the ones I want. Okay, what is a bright follower doing here? Apart from giving me free stuff. Fine. I hear you. Oh. I'm encumbered. Uh oh. Oh, no, no, I'm no, really. No, it's puppies. Oh, come on. It's just wrong. Should be shooting puppies. Are you kidding me? Oh. Okay. That will do. All right, okay. Um, I think we got it. Right, we have got a whole heap of ammo. Taking, 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 taking. No, I don't need that one, but... I'm going to take that, and that, and even that. Wasteland. Lot of lads life magazines around here. And I'm not gonna take that, really I'm not. Okay, so what about the area where you shot all the puppies, you vicious killers? That was terrible, wasn't it? You should definitely lose karma for that. Alright, where are we? I thought that was someone waiting for me for a second. Alright! Ammo! Okay, we've got a shop there that sells ammo. We need to check that out sometime. Okay, but for now, we have all of the pieces for the CMIS system. Let's go back and talk to Paul. Okay, there's Dean. Where's Paul? He's gone inside. Gone for a lie down again, has he? Hey, dude. Damn, knee's been giving me a fit lately. Oh, oh, sorry. Can I help you? Yeah, I've got stuff for you. It looks like I found all the containers you said we need. You got everything already? Wow, Absolutely. that's impressive. I'm There's an impressive person. one thing we person. need to talk about before we proceed. Okay. If you stored anything of value in any of those old lockers in the school... You need to head out and grab your gear before we move <laughs> forward. Dean's going to haul those old lockers off for scrap metal and set the new ones up for you. He'll most likely do it tomorrow, so you can't forget to remove anything you want to keep. Otherwise, it's getting hauled off. Okay, no, I've got everything. I believe I need to... No. No, I don't have anything stored in that school. This is actually a really... You know, this is a sign of a well-considered uh, mod hating to, to break out into mod talk here, but to have thought of that, to have thought of that eventuality, is actually really nice. No, I don't have anything stored in the school. Let's Very proceed. well, then. Listen, there's something that's been on my mind. Okay. It just ain't right having you sleep on that old filthy mattress in there. I was going to save this for later. I'm sleeping in the van. But when Dean sets up the lockers, I'm going to get him to take a nicer bed over for you so you can be well rested. It's the least I can do. Um, thanks. So you'll have a much better bed and plenty of containers. Put anything in them you want to, and your gear will be perfectly safe from now on. 
Okay. I know it's not quite a home yet, but we're getting there bit by bit. Go get some rest, and when you're ready to go, we'll go over what we have left to do. Gotta get some rest. We have to get some rest, which is not so bad. It's 17.30. Yeah, that, Veronica. You've got a bed now. You've got a bed. We haven't got anything for... Quest added. Home room. Home room? Home room. Home room. Um, you know what? we got a bed for you now, apparently. Nice bed for you. We need a kind of docking station for you, don't we? That's what we need. What did that quest actually say? I think it said get a night's sleep, probably. Quests with help. Go back and dock to Paul when you're ready to proceed. He did say he needed a, a night, though, right? So let's go and act. It's getting late. Time for me to have some sleep. You guys go off and you'll have to sleep on the rusty mattress or something. Good night. Mm -hmm. I am now sick with major dehydration. Oh! CIMS storage system installed. Dean has installed the CIMS storage system. You just need to get the power back on and the system will be fully functional. Nice. How dehydrated am I? I need some more food. Um, I need to pick some food up then. What do I have? Uh, let's have a look. I don't actually have anything... Oh, I don't have very much that's been made yet. I need to do some cooking, I think. i just buy some in a minute. Cram! You'll do. 5%, that's fine. Alright, so now we go back and see Paul, or maybe I want to go check out the changes. I want to go see what's changed in there. See if the containers are up. They should be now. They shouldn't be working, at least there should be no sorting system, but the containers should be there. Don't see why you would need power for containers. Okay! A bed! Toolboxes, workbench parts, nice. Reloading parts, sorted ammo. Lots of different sorted weapon areas. Oh, very nice indeed. Okay, this is pretty damned cool. And what do we store here? Awesome! This! This is how you're supposed to get a house! Ha ha ha! Was it Dean or Paul? Paul. Probably Paul. Let's go talk to Paul about getting the power on. Paul! Oh, bed. Oh, God. I knew it. Come on, dude. Howdy, neighbor. How you doing? Fine. You were going to fill me in on the wiring for the school. Yes, luckily the wiring in the walls is intact and ready to be tied into the new solar power system. It's pretty genius actually, but it's still very simple. The sun charges the batteries and the batteries power the school. The batteries are inside of a UPS, or uninterrupted power I supply I know what console, UPS stands for. Been fixing up. Dude. He tells me that everything checks out so far except for the inversion coil in the thing. It's completely burned out and needs to be replaced. And I can find also, this. Also, in addition to the coil, we'll need a small solar panel to use to charge the whole thing up. Alright. Inversion coil, what's that? Yep, it's a nifty piece of tech. The simple explanation is, is that the solar panel collects energy from the sun and sends it to the UPS system. The UPS system uses that energy to keep its batteries charged, but the power from the batteries is DC voltage. And, unfortunately, everything in the school runs off of AC voltage. Okay. That's why the UPS has the inversion coil, or inverter, to convert the DC to AC so it can power up the school. Where do I get one? It converts the power, feeds it to the transfer switch, which sends the power to the main panel and on into the school. And where do I find one? But what about if there's no sun for a while? Yes. Excellent question. That could be a problem, could it not? Instant. Well, this system also has a backup generator that kicks in if the batteries get too drained. The generator also recharges the batteries when the UPS is offline. 
Everything ties into the transfer switch, which controls which power source is being used. It transfers or switches back and forth between the solar and generator power, depending on which one is online. Okay, so I can switch between solar power and other power. Fine. Okay, any ideas where I can find the coil and a solar panel? Not sure, but the only place we might have a chance of finding them would be that old solar energy facility. Helios one, one been there. Hell, I'm not even sure if you can get into the place anymore. NCR's got it on a lot. I these can days. get in. <laughs> Are you up for giving it a shot? Oh yeah. Now I didn't mean literally give it a shot, so don't go getting yourself killed over there. Stop worrying. Stop worrying, dude. I'll let Dino to go ahead and get everything installed. If you can find that coil and solar panel, just give them to Dean when you come back. Awesome. That way you two can work together on the installation. Good luck. Thank you very much. All right, let's... Can I drive the truck to Helios 1? I don't think I can. I think I have to go to Novak and then to Helios 1. I think. Pretty sure. Right, solar panel. Probably going to be lying around outside. The inverter, I have no idea. Do you think it will give us a clue? Um, world map. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Helios 1 accepted two of them. All right, okay. This is actually very, very cool. So even if you don't get to Helios 1, you've still got a house. You've got a house, it's just the automatic sorting system doesn't work yet. So, so the house gets upgraded as you progress along the quest as, uh, uh, in the game. The house actually gets up. That's really, that is really good. That is actually really, really good. Um, nope. So we have to go to Novak. Novak is the closest place. Yes, it is. So we go to Novak, and then we run to Helios 1. Okay. Right, so the big question now is, am I going to find these items inside or outside of Helios 1? Oh, God. Bit of weird texture thing. Let's have a look at the local map. I've got to go in. Just fair enough. What? Dude, you're under attack. Okay. Is that Legion? Oh god, it's going to be Legionaries, isn't it? Where are they? Oh, there they are. That one's dead. Got ya. Oh! Oof, that was... Oh god, you just exploded, dude. You exploded. Keep your head popped up. Yes! Come on! God, I love sniper scope. <laughs> Hunting rifle! Say hello to some big bullets! Oh. Caesar's Legion infamy gained. Aren't I pretty much infamous with them anyway? Service rifle. I'll take it. Probably can, you know. I mean, really? Am I not already pretty much uh, on their uh, to-do list, so to speak? Holy... <sighs> Thermic lance, that's heavy. But it's worth quite a bit. I'm going to have to give that to one of the boys. Well, or girls, in Veronica's case. Fresh potato, I'll take it. Thank you very much. Uh, come here. Are you going to... If I give you this, are you going to use it? But I'm not totally sure I want you using a thermic lance to be... Ooh, got something good for me? Is it a dress? No, it's not a dress. It, uh, it is, however... What does it use? It... Oh no, it's a... Oh god, it, it's a... Um, oh, why have I still got the sledgehammer and tie on? Hmm, right. Um, in fact, you know what? I'm just going to give you a bunch of stuff to carry for me until I'm ready to use it. Uh, yeah, so it's so it's um, it's a melee weapon, is it? Thermic lance, let's have a look. Damage 125. Four. Ignores DT and D. Oh, good God, that's horrific. It's big, though, isn't it? 
I really don't think I want to see you using that. You know, these guys just sort of stood here with pistols, stood shooting at them. That's how stupid it really was. Right, so yes, we've got to go in to Helios 1 to find said items. Are they going to be in the building or outside in the back? You'd sort of have thought... You'd have thought they'd been outside. Although, you never do know. Um, yeah, it's this way. Yeah. That's pointing to the back door, I believe. Hey, how are you doing? <laughs> Remember me? So... Over there. Oh god, are we going to go inside? Really? I do hope everything hasn't been reactivated. I will be most dischuffed. Um, but just in case it has been reactivated, let's go pull slugs. It's in here, isn't it? Yes. Alright. Nothing shooting at us. Alright, well, on the local map. Oh, no, that's. Um. Not quite sure where that is. Okay. I don't think this place is going to respawn. Where it's in here. Facing the wrong way. It's over there. That can't be right, can it? It's right there. Oh no! Inversion coil! I have an inversion coil! Take eyeglasses. No, thank you. Find a small solar panel at Helios 1. Um, the solar panels are almost certainly going to be outside. Yeah, that would make sense. All right. This is not... It's not going so bad. It's not going so bad. All right, so, so does it give me a clue? Nice. Thank you very much for the clue. Yes, quest markers. For the win. No? How about that one? What? The dogs respawned. You have found what appears to be an intact small solar panel. It's bulky but not so heavy that you cannot lug it back to Dean. Return to Dean for further instructions. Thank you. Alright. I think we can ignore these dogs. Can we? Yes, we can! Right! Alright, guys, let's go! Yeah, th those guys can handle the dogs. Even though they're probably NCR dogs. Back to Paul, and hopefully now... We will have power. Hello. Oh, he's not in bed. Is he in the bathroom? That would be embarrassing, wouldn't it? Um. Dinner? Lunch? Whoa! Is he outside? Is he actually working? Oh, he is! <laughs> my bad, my bad. Howdy, neighbor. How you doing? I. Uh, no, it's okay. not you. I'm trying see to see you. anyway, is it? It's Dean, of course, right. Dean! Been hunting enough for you. It's wearing me out. Yep. I have the inversion coil and solar panel we need. I don't even want to ask you how you found that stuff. I the ran in and picked it up. Says it all. Well, I guess it's a good what thing look? I went ahead and prepped a spot for that solar panel then. Okay. Head over behind the school and look for the dark spot where I was digging. Okay. Grab that shovel and go ahead and mount the solar panel, if you will. It's just two wires to hook up, so it's not real complicated. Why do I need a sh you want me to grab a shovel to install a solar panel? What shovel? I don't see a shovel. I don't see a shovel. Alright, let's have a look. 
Go to the back of the school. Look for the dark spot what I was digging. Right, here we got, we've got electrical stuff, a generator. Where's the dark spot that you were digging? Oh, there we go. And there's the shovel. So, Jake. Okay, done it. Install solar panel. To install a solar panel, you will need the following items. Small solar panel. Got shovel. Got wrench. You didn't mention a wrench. You didn't mention a wrench. I've got loads in the van. Please tell me I saw one at your feet. Yes, I did. Nice. All right. Why don't I put the solar panel on the roof, though? Why, why should the solar panel be here? It strikes me as the roof would be sensible, or even up there if you're going to... Fine. Install! You take a look at the base of the solar panel, and it appears to have been designed to easily mount on a pipe like the one Dean has buried for you. You dig out the, around the pipe a little, lower the solar, pa solar panel onto it, and use a wrench to tighten the mounting clamp and secure it in place. It seems extremely sturdy. The wiring is easy as there are only two wires and only two connection lugs for them to go in. It does not appear to matter which wire goes where, so you just plug one wire into each lug and tighten them down with your trusty wrench. As you were installing the solar panel, you quickly jot down the serial number. This one was made by Repcom, serial number BR549. The most difficult part of this installation was hauling that thing back to Good Springs. From all the way over at Helios 1, your back sure could use a rest. Well, Veronica's back, because I probably would have made her carry it. If we didn't have a van. Because she's... Ooh, she's got power armor and likes... Okay, cool. Cool, right, okay, so... Um, quest! Homeroom. Speak with Dean again for further instructions. Dean! I installed the solar panel. We have power, mate. We've got power. Hello. What do you need? Apparently to tell you that we've got power. Okay, let's... Oh. <laughs> I'm not used to hearing that music at this point. Okay, the solar panel is up. What's next? Well, that must have gone smoothly. Smoothly. Is that a joke? At this stuff. He ain't trying to take my job, I could you? have your job that easy, mate. I'm a... I'd hate to think I'd be moping around town the rest of my life. Belly aching that you took my job. Anyway, <laughs> don't worry about it. This I next have part's no be intention. Tricky, but I've got faith in you and know you can handle the job. I don't. You're gonna get everything powered up. Roger that. But that UPS still needs some fresh parts. Oh, of course it does. You'll need to install that coil, six fresh fission batteries, and four fresh conductors. To I get must it have those. I must have those. It might sound like a hard job, but it's pretty simple, really. Everything just plugs in exactly where it looks like. I have it got to go. have conductors and vision so batteries. All you have to do is swap out the old stuff for got the new. Loads of them in the back. Easy as pie. Brilliant. And you think you can handle it? Absolutely. Repair, sure. Piece of cake. One last thing. When that UPS comes online, I need you to look inside and see what the output display is reading. Oh, did it? Write it down and okay. bring it back to me. I need to set the calibration for the solar panel with. Okay. It. Right. Vision batteries and conductors. I seem to be seeing good springs from this direction and angle fairly frequently at the moment. Right, oh, where the hell am I going, though? Was it inside? Probably was inside, wasn't it? Upgrade, no, home room. Install the inversion coil, six fishing batteries, and four conductors in the UPS system. And is that inside or outside? I think that's outside. This? Yes! Y UPS batteries. There we go. I'm ready. Let's repair the UPS. Whoa! Dude, what? Ow! Oh my! You just got the scare of your life. Pretty close! As soon as you installed the last vision battery and turned the UPS back on, a loud bang came from the transfer switch to your right. You notice there is a distinct odour of burning wire and jack coming from the panel box. The UBS seems to be fine now, so you are able to check the voltage display and get the readings Dean requested. Take the readings back to Dean and he will help you figure out what to do about the transfer switch and how to regrow skin on your fingers. Come 
Here, you horrible little man. You knew that was going to happen. Mm, play it again, my Johnny. Mm. Oh, sorry. Can I help you? Yes! Something went wrong with the transfer switch. Yes, I heard it from Plum over here. You okay? Oh, you're fine. Thanks for asking. I'm no workers' comp, you know. Sure. That transfer switch must have been stuck closed, and when the UPS powered up, it shorted out the sensors and maybe even the board. Mm, simple enough to fix, though. What so do I need? Find some more sensor modules and some uh, scrap electronics. Sensor modules. Collect what we need and install them in the and transfer switch. And scrap electronics. And should finally get everything up and running. <sighs> Once everything is up and running, I think Paul wants you to go see him. Fine. Couldn't you have told me I needed to do all of this the last time I ran all the way to the van? You remember in those old cartoons, the, like the Looney Tune cartoons, uh, where they would use the same clip over and over and again to save money on animation? Beginning to feel like I'm in one of those. Oh, I need more action points. Right, switch. Um, and right, here we go. Transfer switch. Five intelligence. Forty repair. Here's the thing. What happens if you get this mod and you're playing a complete dummy? Well, I, I guess you can have the house, but you're not having any of the electronics or any of the fancy stuff. I'm going to repair it. You examine the transfer switch and find two burned out sensor modules. They're simple enough to replace and you easily remove the faulty ones and install the new ones in their place. During your examination, you also discover a few wires that have become brittle and appear ready to burn in two. A little scrap wire does the trick and they are now as good as new. The transfer switch should work well for years to come. Okay. Um. Should I activate them? I should probably talk to Dean before I do that. While I still have some skin left. Hey, boys. Can I help you with something? <laughs> oh, no. Paul, I gotta talk to Paul. You you did say talk to Paul when you said yes. Neighbor? How you doing? Neighbor? Am I your neighbor now? Excellent. I got the UPS and transfer switch online. The electricity seems to be fine and, you know, particularly painful. I thought I heard some sort of commotion out there. What happened? You have some trouble? Um, kind of. Repair 40. Nah, piece of cake. Just had a little surge in the transfer switch is all. No biggie. The damned thing almost blew up in my face. No, no, let's, let's, let's be calm about this. Well, that was a nice job on the electrical system. Guess some gremlins should be expected with equipment that old. Well, then someone You're becoming have told an old me. pro with this stuff, ain't you? Say, I've been thinking about something. Yeah, it looks like the next big project we need to tackle is getting some furniture to put in there. Right. Okay. Well, I run a repair shop, not a furniture store. But a while back, I spoke with Chad about some of his suppliers. He put me in contact with a dealer that had just what I wanted, and cheap too. That's where that bed came from. Right. He doesn't sell the high-dollar, brand-new kind of stuff, but he cleans up what he finds, and it's all in great working order. That's why I can get such good prices for his wares. All right. So, here's what I propose. I've been thinking about starting trading again anyhow. So, when he brought me that bed, I went ahead and ordered a basic furniture package from him. Should be here in a couple of days. Okay. He also gave me a bunch of vouchers for a whole lot of other stuff. This is going to cost me, isn't it? Oh, several things. He has some decorations that can go in as the furniture is being set up. He said the decorations include some old miniature antique toys and whatnot. Seemed fitting for an old school to me. Okay. He also said he had an old oven he was converting so you could craft some more stuff on it. Cook up recipes and so forth. Then there's a workbench, reloading bench, and even an old healing station and chemistry set oh, before the war. Ooh. But he's still looking for those, so they'll have oh, to wait. Oh, he must be one hell of a prospector to find all that stuff. Of course. So I here's what I was getting a healing station. I'll put the vouchers for the furniture and decorations on the desk there. When you're ready to pay for them, just pick them up and I'll take the caps. Okay. Well, it's your house. Why should I have to pay for any of the new stuff? Excellent question. Well, it's kind of like the old saying I heard as a child. 
something about a chair still being a chair even when nobody's sitting in it, but a house not what? being a home when there's nobody there. Something like that anyway. Came from a song, I believe. Okay. The point is that I've got way fewer days ahead of me than I've had behind, and with all the work you put into it, well, it belongs to you now. Whoa. It should have someone living there who appreciates it and who will make it a home, not just some old fixed-up schoolhouse. Just make me a promise that if you ever decide to pull up and head out of here and never to return, just bring the deed back to me, okay? Right. So when you're ready, just pay for the furniture and decorations, and after that, we can check on the other items the supplier's looking for. That's incredibly gracious of you, actually. It is, yes. You can bet I'll take care of it. Thank you. Well, I think I'm leaving it in good hands, so thank you. So long for now. Okay. I thought they were going to just say I could use it for a while, but they've given it to us. But we've got a van. Yeah, but... Okay. Shut up. Oh, okay, well... we got to decide now. Are we going to keep this? Are we going to have a permanent base? Do we want a house? I didn't really think about it before. I had no intention of staying here, but I put a lot of effort into that. i tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to go and have a look at it. I'm going to go and have a look at my new house. Yippee, yeah.